So this is a video that I didn't think I'd be making and I'm gonna keep it very short and sweet um, because I'm not gonna lie, I'm angry. I'm very angry. It's not my club, but I'm livid at how a club has been treated and how the lack of due diligence and quite frankly shit care of the EFL has resulted in a number of fans, staff, players losing their club. And quite frankly, it's absolutely disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting that Steve Dale, who purchased Bury for £1 last year, in December I think it was, he bought them for a pound. He has owned 51 businesses throughout his lifetime, throughout his career, and 43 of them have been liquidated. Now, what kind of board across the EFL looks at that, looks at their record and thinks, yeah, that, that's the guy who can look after this club that are already financially struggling? Who in their right mind thinks that? And then it even they even allowed him to take over the club whilst still not having the proof that he could financially help that club. They're just idiots. Absolute idiots. And now thanks to their lack of due diligence, these fans that I... My heart goes out to them. My heart goes out to them that these fans no, lang, no longer have a football club. And, you know, people say, oh, it's, it's just a game, it's just football. It's not. It's so much more than that. It's so much more than that. And I can only imagine the shit that these fans, staff and players, like I say, what they're going through. I can only imagine. Because I know that if... Tomorrow, Sunderland disappeared. I'd be devastated. I'd be devastated because it's it's the livelihood of people. That's there's, there's fans who support clubs all their lives. It, it is their livelihood. It's their thing to do. A football club is going to meet your mates. It's a it's a social event. It it's going to watch your team play that you love and you adore. And it, it's a it's a it's not just a hobby. It's a love. It's a passion. Like many other things in life, and football is ingrained in so many people. And so much history has gone down the shitter and it's lost because of a lack of due diligence and care from the people who are supposed to be protecting our clubs. And don't get me wrong, I'm not going to completely back off Steve Dale because he's had countless opportunities to, to sell the club. He blatantly went there just to get some money. He's bought it for a quid. A club with such rich history like Bury, he's bought it for a quid, an absolute bargain. As soon as he realised that he didn't have enough money or he didn't have the finances to back it, he should have fucked off. He should have just accepted, I would have accepted it for two quid. Even if they did have financial difficulties, just get rid because the seriousness that you've now left the club in, the shit you've left the club in, is it really worth it? No, it is not. And I don't know. It's just a shit, shit day for football fans in general. It really, really is a shit day. And it's just... Uh, again, I'm, I'm just going to end up getting progressively more angry. So I'm just going to leave it there. And again, I just want to place some record my sympathy for for Bury fans and everyone associated with that club. Because, again, if it happened to Sunderland, I, I'd be absolutely heartbroken. And I wouldn't know what I'd do myself. I wouldn't know what I'd do myself. A lot of people... A football club, it is just their escape from reality. And now that's been taken away from them because of selfishness and greed and a lack of professionalism. And it's just shit. It's really shit. It really is. So I'm just going to end this video by simply saying, fuck the EFL. Good night.